Is there really such a thing as the truth? Or is it all just your truth? It's okay to set banners on fire. I think people can do whatever the heck they want to do. So is that true for everyone or just you? So there's no moral right or wrong? I think people can do whatever the heck they want to do. Okay, great, but isn't that just your opinion? Set banners on fire and that's fine. People can do whatever the heck they want to do. Yeah, yeah, we get that, but is there a moral right and wrong? So do you believe that there's a moral right and wrong? Please don't be this stubborn. Are you like the girl in that video? Do you think we can do whatever we want? In that case, does objective truth exist or is it just all a matter of opinion? Here's some questions for you. Are you watching this video right now? Are you hearing my voice right now? Am I speaking English right now? If your answer to any of those was yes, then you acknowledge the existence of objective truth. It's truth that can't be swayed by anyone's opinion. Another example is just your senses. They don't change based on what your opinion is. If you see something, your opinion might say that's beautiful or that's ugly, but the objective truth is that light is entering your eyes. Individual truths technically do exist though. I like ice cream. My favorite color is green. I think that when it's 50 degrees outside, it's cold. All of these are opinions. My truth, if you will. But they change based on my experiences and my emotions. 2 plus 2 equals 4. Whether or not someone wants to make you believe that 2 plus 2 is 5. 2 equals 4. That is a lie. It does not. It's still objectively true. But isn't that just a product of the culture? Isn't that also just our opinion? Let me ask you this. Before there were any humans on the earth, was the statement, there are no humans on the earth, true? Yes, it has to be because there were no humans on the earth. Now, here's where it gets interesting. If true and false exist regardless of our opinions, then so do right and wrong, they're the same thing. And what do we know right and wrong as? Well, it's the moral law. And where did that law come from if it's not a product of our culture or our opinions? Well, there's a debate about whose god is right or wrong. But if right and wrong exist and they transcend all of us, then they had to have come from a god. Regardless of whether you think god exists, if you've watched this video and you are reasonable about this, you have to acknowledge that objective truth exists. Now with your new knowledge of right and wrong, you might as well get some practice in. So, here's two examples of things that might be right or might be wrong. Judge for yourself. Either way, I'll see you next time.